Welcome to episode 11 of the Rebel Vlog. Uh, this week is an extra special week in the world of education because it is Teacher Appreciation Week. And for that reason, this vlog is a little bit different this week, all for our teachers from our students. Enjoy. Get kids to talk on Zoom. Uh, adapting to doing online school every day. Um, not being able to like see the students face to face. Uh, I think it was finding childcare and also finding a quiet space to like do your work in Zoom. I think the hardest thing was learning how to use Zoom in Teams. I think the hardest thing was um, making your home your classroom. They don't know what the, uh, the, the teachers don't know what the students are doing over the screens while they're taking tests. Yeah, that's a really good one. I think it's mostly the Zooms that the teachers had to take care of and all the Zooms they had to be on and off of and all the times they had to be on them. All right. Um, probably the Zooms and like the timing and like say they have like an appointment and they might not be able to Zoom with the students. It's very confusing for teachers. Yeah. Um, like only getting students like two days a week. Yeah. Uh, Zooms because they've really never done it before, so it was kind of new. Microsoft Teams. Brand new program, right? Yeah. Gotta learn that. Cheers. Staying at home. Uh, learning new technology. Uh, working from home and uh, having to deal with not being in the school. Bad internet. And getting everyone split up between the days. Yeah. Um, scheduling. Getting in all the information in one lesson for class. Yeah. I'm having to go through all of the classes since it's a lot more. To learn a whole bunch of new stuff about technology. Yeah. Making videos for their class. They got, like, they let you, like, show things that you had at your house. Like, I got to show my garden. Um, they understand when your Wi-Fi isn't working. Just really understanding in general and, um, they always found the fun topics for us to learn about. Um, they always had like creative, like home and like virtual classrooms. Um, they made their due dates like flexible, like if we weren't like caught up, they would push it back. Uh, they made their teaching really fun. The teachers understood that some of the students didn't have Wi-Fi. Being lenient with kids, just giving them a break. It's been hard for everyone. The teachers gave me extra help when I needed it. Yeah. Reached out. How, how did the teachers reach out to you? They called. <laughs> what was very good is they set up a schedule for our Zooms. That's a good one. They don't blow up on us for saying something. Um, they did a really good job of adapting to uh, online learning and posting lectures and videos for kids to understand. Uh, I think they've done a really good job getting kids included and now you know, not letting kids fall behind even though they're at home all day, half, uh, half the days. Accommodating for all students. Uh, contacting the students individually and talking to them and working with them. Understanding. They were keeping calm. They were very understanding through the hard time. Um, they were good with helping us, like, answer questions. Yeah. Helping us and letting us know what to do if we needed help. Um, understanding that we have stuff with problems with the internet. They understood the problems we were having and stuff.
Hello, Miss Ralston and I would like to take a minute to just really say thank you to all the teachers. I live my life by a quote that my dad used to say that there's three types of people in this world. Those that watch things happen, those that wonder what happened, and those that make things happen. I have been surrounded by teachers and TAs that make things happen. It has been a, it has been a pleasure to watch you guys transform the old way of thinking and the new way of teaching. The bonds that you guys created, the way you've been able to teach content and help with the social emotional needs to all our students is something re remarkable. And Ms. Ralston and I just take our caps off to you. I like the idea of the quote, so I'm gonna go with it. I love two quotes that speak to me about this pandemic. The first one you see on the gold glittery sign in my office, be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. And the other quote that I love is you never know how strong you are until you have no other option. And I think this pandemic has shown that. You are strong as teachers and you have been fearless in the pursuit of setting your students towards success, of making CRCS the best place for our students. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for being part of this family. We're proud of you, we appreciate you, we love working with you.